pharmaceutical factory, yes. there should not be a crisscrossing of the man and the material. Right. Okay, it has to flow in a unidirectional, yeah. unidirection. That every room has a different entry for material right. and different entry for man. So this is basically a, in a common man language would be a sophisticated mixer. So this particular technology is a closed loop technology which we have invested significant amount. Right. So when we produce it, it goes automatically without getting exposed. Operators do not have to come in direct contact with the product. And this is where the tablets get to so the hopper and then the aluminum roll and then there is a camera and to detect whether there is not a single pocket should be empty. Right. Uh, because that's critical. Speaking, you know, in a very globalized world, um, you know, we've lived in an era where uh, things are done in in places that are, you know, cheaper, more efficient. Um, you know, that has had its own benefit, but I think it has also had uh, some issues, like you know, reliance on other countries, reliance on other products. And I think uh, this pandemic was like a wake-up call to all of us that we need to make sure that we have access to such things like medicine that are crucial to our lives. What we've been doing throughout the years is really to be a bridge between um, industry, academia, government, regulators, uh, to make sure that you know, we are the platform and the community for uh, science companies. That is pharma, medical device, medical equipment, um, and you know, really pro pro provide a platform for them to start. And they can, you know, start from different levels, whether it is R and D, manufacturing, offices, warehouses. Is that you can put them in two groups. One is to provide, um, you know, whether it is medication or equipment. You know, obviously, with the COVID-19 equipment, especially for testing, is very important. So you need to have the right equipment, and PCRs were used in this case. And the other thing, which is also very important, is how do you actually use those equipments? Uh, because you can run a test and then you look at, look at data, you need to analyze that data. What, so what does that mean? For example, Italy has the, the, the most uh, harshest virus when it was analyzed and sequenced in compared to other countries.